Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you kind of late this morning, and sorry that I couldn't return to you for this album review sooner. I was just busy a little bit this morning, and listening to this album as well. And this is for the second Marathon Studio album review for Soundgarden's discography, which is for Louder Than Love, that I just got done listening to. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this album and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Sorry, my nose had the snuffles a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I do like this album. I think it's good in its own way. It's just, there's a few songs, like three or four songs that kind of brought the rating down for this album. Uh, that I'm going to rate it, of course, to getting closer to the end of the video. Um, I do like Ugly Truth. That's a really good one. It's a great opener to the album. Um, Chris Cornell's voice in it sounds pretty good. It is very long. It's like almost five and a half minutes long, but it is enjoyable. Uh, Hands All Over was probably the longest song. I think it was like six minutes, if I remember correctly. But it was really good. Big Dumb Sex was a kind of cringy song, but it didn't do so bad. Uh, with the I wanna F, F, I wanna fuck, 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 fuck you, or whatever. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, ugh, that's just dirty lyrics, but eh, it works in its own way, but I think it did alright. I'm not saying that I don't hate the song, I just don't think it's my favorite song off the album. Uncovered was the last good song on the album, and it did pretty well. Uh, the other songs were... They were fine. Gun was pretty good. I really liked that one. Uh, Power Trip was awesome. Get on the Snake was great. Full on Kevin's Mom. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I'd have to go back and listen to this album again in full. But it was like a 53 minute album. So it felt almost like it was dragging on a bit. But there were some songs that were enjoyable. And then there was a few that were my least favorites. Like, Full On Kevin's Mom is kind of my least favorite. And No Wrong, No Right is... Chris Cornell's voice in it sounds a little weird at times. <laughs> uh, at certain points. Points in the song, it sounds a little weird. Like, when he's starting to sing the chorus, and then when he's doing the end of the verses, it sounds a little weird with how his voice raises to a pretty falsetto high, I guess you could say, or loud high, or whatever he does. It's like a weird voice he sings, uh, that he's singing. Uh, Full On Reprises, the same song. It's Full On Kevin's Mom, but it's a shorter version. It's to close out the album, but it did all right. Not my favorite one, but alright to close the album out. Um, I Awake was really good. Loud Love was amazing. I really liked that. I'd have to go back and listen to this album again in full. Because there were some songs I did enjoy. Like, majority of them were really good. And then there was a few that were... Eh. Solid, but didn't execute too well um but still rest in peace to chris cornell he did actually do well with soundgarden and i know he did some solo work and i'll probably review that in the month of april or something like that i don't know for sure but uh, i'll try to get it uh out there as soon as I can. <clears throat> Sorry that my throat is a little uh, scratchy a bit. Uh, it's kind of like that right now because I woke up like 
eight or nine, and it just bothered me, my throat, a bit. But still, I really enjoyed this album. Uh, it's a good album in its own way. It's just got a few songs that I don't know if I like or not. But I gave them 4.5 out of 5s for Full On Kevin's Mom, No Wrong, No Right, Big Dumb Sex, and Full On Reprise, which is the same song as Full On Kevin's Mom, but shorter. Overall, I think Soundgarden's Louder Than Love album was good in its own way. I really like it. Um, maybe in time it'll grow on me a bit more, but... Uh, for right now, I think it's a good album in its own way, uh, and I know I'm repeating myself a bit, so I apologize for that. I'm just trying to think of the right words to use for this album review, uh, so I don't screw it up or anything. But Chris Cornell's voice in this album mostly did really good, uh... And I really did enjoy his voice in certain songs. And then there were some songs that I don't know if I can get behind, but they're solid. So for score, I think I'm going to give Soundgarden Louder Than Love an 8 out of 10. This is a good album. I definitely see myself returning to this album. Um, it's not perfect, but it did good. So it's pretty much getting a B for a grade rating. Uh, but 8 out of 10 is kind of my good rating that I'd give it. But it still did a good job. And Soundgarden did a good job on this 1989 album. Which this album's like about 32 years old, to be honest. Uh, it's pretty... That was a long time ago, but yeah, time really goes by so fast. And this band is very talented, and I really like their music. Uh, but definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Soundgarden album, Louder Than Love, if you've heard it. And if you like this album review that I made for you guys today, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. I will be returning to you. I guess I'll be writing a new song pretty soon. Or start writing it. I don't know when I'm going to come out with it. If I come out with it today, I'll let you know. And I'll just upload it and I'll surprise you. But it's going to be for a song that I think is going to be about love and all that. Uh, but, cause there's not really a lot of interesting music coming out yet, uh, for this week, so I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of track reviews to do, mostly movie reviews, but, uh, I may have to put some movie reviews on hold for a bit. The next movie review I'll do is probably gonna be by the weekend, if... That's when you'll expect it. So I'm a bit behind on movie reviews like Tom and Jerry and all that. But I'm going to try to get it done as quickly as possible watching that movie. It'll probably be by the weekend is when I'll watch it. And I'll watch the March 5th movies probably next week sometime is when I'll get to it. Because uh, I'm trying to find the Cherry movie too. Before I get to the March 5th releases for movies. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this album review. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Uh, but like I said, Chris Cornell's voice in this album is good. It's not disappointing. Um, there's certain points in some songs that tend to kind of make me cringe a bit. But not to the point where it's bad. So yeah. Uh, but definitely stay safe. Take care. I hope you enjoyed this Marathon Studio album review I did for Soundgarden, Louder Than Love. And I'll see you in my next review.